Hi, my name is Dennis Curtis, and you are watching Outside the Relationship. On tonight's program, we will be talking to residents in Missoula, Montana. With the divorce rate in the United States at an all-time high of 51% because of infidelity, having affairs, and cheating, we will be taking a closer look at cheating. It doesn't matter what it's called, it all boils down to having a relationship outside the relationship. So what is your idea of uh, cheating? Cheating, having sexual intercourse behind your partner's back. Um, being unfaithful, whether that's either flirting with other people or making out with them, dancing with them, anything that even if it's in your head makes you not want to be with the person that you're with and be with somebody else. She has the urges for sexual tendencies for another man, then yes, it's cheating. I'd say if they cheat, then you shouldn't forgive them. It's either they are cheating or they're not cheating. I don't think there are signs of cheating. Well, there are signs such as uh, um, you find numbers in people's pockets when they come home the <laughs> right. next morning type deal. Yeah. You signs? Have... I'm, I'm thinking phone is the biggest sign. If they're, if they're overtaking with their phone, that's right. weird. That's a good one. But right. my ex or... was a good liar and cheated on me all the time and I never do. So. Or maybe going into the bathroom to use a text. Yeah, that and um, disappearing for hours, not... Right. Well, it was his birthday. We were out for his birthday. It was a birthday party and he was being a little weird with me. He wasn't totally like himself. Dis Distanceness? Distanceness. Like they like pull apart from you. They don't talk to you as much. They shut down. They... Start having their own activities exactly. away, away from you. They don't like want to go with you anymore. They don't want to be a part of you anymore. Uh, basically when they say goodbye without giving you a kiss or don't say goodbye at all, they just like leave. You have to like, you have to have sex with someone in order to have it uh, considered like being cheating. The wife or girlfriend is, you know, spending a lot more time around somebody else instead of him. Right? Now her husband isn't giving her the attention that she needs. So it was her idea, would you like to have video sex? And it was like, it threw me off at first. They said, if, if you want to get naked and go yeah, for it, fine. hey, go for it. Um, and she did, and she enjoyed herself. Now, there was no physical contact, but there was that emotional thing. There was a release for her, and her husband wasn't giving her attention. Now, was that cheating? That was her decision. She has the urges for sexual tendencies for another man, then yes, it's cheating. No, it's not. No, not at all. It's weird as shit, but it's not cheating. That's, I wouldn't say that is cheating. I would say so, yeah. It, it could uh, under various lines because uh, the woman's actual, you know, uh, boyfriend might, you know, see it as, oh, well, who's this guy, you know, texting her, good night, sweet dreams. Um, yes, I'd say it, it'll, at least lead to cheating. Yeah. Yes. Yes. No. Yeah! Because you don't know how many times they like hooked up with that person before, how many times they met you behind right. your back. Like texting only <laughs> yeah. leads what if, to much more. Right. Yes and no. She is getting a need met if a couple is mutually exclusive for four years. Not. So basically they're married, but they're not. Oh, correct. Okay. She is needing her needs getting her needs met from someone else that's not the person she is connected to. So yes. But the man that she's with should be man enough to realize that he is not fulfilling the need that somebody else is. She should be man enough to figure out what he can do to fulfill that need instead of being angry and trying to kill her. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, man. Yeah. <laughs> How make me want to break the dude's face. Definitely, yeah. Oh, just stay in the house, stay like on the, the couch. House. I'd say no. Yeah, if you're if you're just staying in the <laughs> house, I would say that's different. But if you're staying in the same bed, yeah, that 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 pretty much is cheating, uh, and right there in the open. 
that would be cheating. That would be very inappropriate. That's, that's a no-go because, see, honesty is the policy. Right. So if something's going to happen, something's going to happen up front. And if it's not going to happen up front, then that's fucking cheating. Yeah. Of course it is. Um, the first time I went through his phone. <laughs> okay. And then the second time it was, I like, he was doing it like playing in front of me, like, I'm not stupid. If you're right. in the bathroom with a girl for 20 minutes, like, I'm you not know, stupid. Yeah, something's going on. You're my boyfriend. She's right. my friend. Something's wrong. Right, no. something's going on there. Exactly. And, and what was on the phone? The phone, it was just like, I missed you, babe. I got toys for you, babe. Like, dirty shit. Like, Hello, you know she has a girl, he has a girlfriend. So. Um, he told me. Extremely intoxicated and I told my boyfriend about it and broke up with him. Found another guy, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> like, and... It took me a while, like I'm still getting over right. it. Right. Yelled at him and left. Just, you know, uh, get drunk and uh, yeah. pretty much just move on and try to find someone who actually cares. You don't. No, I have no trust yeah. for you don't. You, men. You lose trust? Right. Um, I don't know. I moved away, met new people. Like, I removed myself from the situation. Right. I don't know. Because, like, yeah. we're all friends in the States. I actually had a very, it was a very weird spiritual experience where um, I was in the process of getting the guy back that cheated on my wife. And uh, as I was getting ready to get him back, I had this really weird experience where I felt like spiritually there was like this ceiling on top of me where I couldn't like connect to God at all. And I was like, that's really weird. And I said, what's up with that? And this, like, I've never really heard the voice of God before, you know, like this, you know, like Monty Python, you know, <laughs> thing. Yeah. But just inside my gut, I said, you gotta forgive him. And I said, oh, I know that wasn't the voice of God because. God said, uh, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna kill this guy. Man. Right, you're gonna hurt him. You know. and, it, and it was so, like, from my inner core, no, I forgive him. And I said, you know what, I don't wanna forgive the guy, but just help me to find the want. And I forgave him. I actually took him out of coffee. And uh, it was really weird, but then all of a sudden it wasn't my issue anymore. It was her issue. I didn't cheat. She did. Right. And if she were, if it would have been that guy, it would have been some other guy. Yeah. And because I forgave, it gave me the ability to release it. And then all of a sudden, it wasn't my issue. It wasn't my problem. It wasn't my fault. I've known plenty of people that cheated, and the way they dealt with it was failure to realize who they were as an individual. Um, so they went out and continued to have sex with endless counts of people because they had no way to deal with their failure uh, and through drugs. No, he just got drunk and never talked to her again. These are things you have to go through and it's sad that you have to go through this with people but there are times where it's meant to happen. So cheating, it's not cool to do. Not at all. It's really low and selfish of a person to right. cheat on someone, especially if they did make that verbal commitment to someone. And how dare you make a commitment to someone and cheat on them? It's just inappropriate. I don't think it's necessary. If you want to cheat on somebody, leave the person you're with. Right. Because you technically, if you want to, you have to go outside of your marriage, your relationship, to be with another person, then you are not necessarily, you shouldn't be in that relationship to begin with. I think everyone should cheat and I think everyone should be cheated on. <laughs> really? And why do you say that? Um, it's a learning experience. I don't think you can really know what it's like. The, the, the heartache. Here's the thing, yeah. I mean, I think it's important to know what it's like to be in both of those positions. Because once you finally, because I, I was a cheater years after I was initially cheated on. And then I understood a lot more where a lot of people were coming from when they talk about cheating and lust and all sorts of things like that and um, yeah I guess I guess I feel like it's a really natural thing that happens a lot probably more than anybody ever talks about what happens is when you have two married people if I'm not getting my needs met with my wife 
then you start to look somewhere else. And same is true with my wife now, if she's not getting her meds. And so it's my responsibility to meet, find out what her needs and meet them are. And it's her responsibility to find out my needs and meet them. And if she has a temptation to go out and cheat, then I think it's my responsibility to find out what need is not being met in her life, where she feels unloved, and take care of her in that aspect. So I understand what you're asking me as far as... Disconcerted! I understand what you're asking me as far as if you know texting or sexting or Facebook and anything like that. Right. But if my wife is on Facebook flirting with other men, it's because other people are speaking to her in a way that I should be speaking to her. And if I will pull my head out of my ass and understand that, instead of being jealous and upset, and I can speak to her where she wants to be spoken to. And you can fix the problems. I can fix the problem because she will come to me for that, that hole that's in her life that's not being filled. But what happens with most guys is they get, they're stupid, and they get into their work, they get in their job, and they get into their sports or whatever they do, and they just kind of uh, ignore what's going on over here. You know what I'm saying? Right. And the same thing happens with women. You get kids and stuff like the job and stuff like that happens. But if you both people pull their head out of their ass and figure out what's causing that, well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It won't be an issue. And, and you realize that everybody has a want to be loved. Look, you can't keep on calling me like this, okay? No, I'm not gonna leave you for her. We've gone over this, we've gone over this a million times. Look, I'll call you after she goes to bed, okay? All right. Yeah, I love you too. All right. Hi, my name is Dennis Curtis. Thanks for watching Outside the Relationship. As you can tell from that fake phone call, anything in a relationship can be misleading. But if there's evidence of infidelity, the number one thing that I've learned is if you don't want to be in a relationship, get out of that relationship. The second thing I've learned is you must pick and choose your own battles. Is it worth fighting and fighting to get that person back? My own personal experience is no. Once a cheater, always a cheater, as the old saying goes. Can you trust someone again? If your trust is broken, most likely not. Uh, some couples can get past it. It all depends on how strong the relationship is. But you got to pick and choose which battles to fight. As the host of the program, you might be wondering, what do I think of cheating? What is cheating? Some of the topics that we cover tonight are some of my own ideas of what I believe cheating is. But it's also other people's ideas of what they think cheating is. Some other stuff that we did not cover in the episode that I believe cheating is, is hiding any information. With today's technology, cell phones, iPads, computers, it is so easy to cheat on someone. Cheating causes a lot of pain, a lot of frustration, makes a person depressed, makes people say and do the wrong things after the relationship ended, not thinking, hey, maybe we could get back together someday. Now ask yourself, what is cheating? Once again, I'm Dennis Curtis. Thanks for watching Outside the Relationship.